Okay, here's the uh, replacement part, my cross beam. Inside the cap, strictly silver bag, is the said cross beam, and I can see that's uh, nice and solid. Attached to the arms, uh, these square sticky pads, which will actually affix the uh, the unit to the body. Uh, I can see I've got all the wiring loom, etc. So there's no issue with regards to having to strip anything else out of the old unit. Of course, there's no motors on here, although I have got uh, the bearings, etc. So I'm getting in effect uh, another set of bearings, um, but I've got to take all the pins, the um, cogs, the motors, etc., and connect all this up to make this fly again. But I'll do that at the end. The first thing you do is to get this into the body. Going back to the bag just quickly also inside the bag are two other things that are actually stuck I'm just going to rip these out I guess that's so these don't move around whilst being shipped I'll just get rid of the bag now excuse me so you've got a new base plate see that's a sticky on I guess that white peels off later so that's one of the last things I'll be doing and you've got another little black uh, sticky point here which is just going to cover up this little empty rectangle which is just above the motherboard's uh, plug-in uh, point which I think is, uh, if I bring the motherboard back into shot you'll see what I mean. So this is this is the uh, motherboard, this is the underside, this is the side that uh, is visible as it were. Sorry, let's get that wrong. <laughs> this is actually the upside so when the unit is fully manufactured this is, uh, this is in, uh, I'm getting that all backwards. <laughs> 